Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Okay, as you can see, still more tweaking. It's a never ending process. What I did was I took my Aperture MC light, set the color to roughly the same blue, and mounted it behind my melon. Watch this. Oh yeah. I noticed in, in the past couple of videos that given my dark hair, albeit graying hair, but you can't really see that on camera that well, but my dark hair was sort of blending into the newly plasti dipped sound panel exercise mat thingies. So it kind of looked weird. My head sort of blended into the mats. So I decided that I would, you know, I was like, how can I do that? You know, should I go buy, you know, some cheap LEDs off of Amazon or, you know, put a strip or what can I do? And I thought, oh, you dummy, you've got that aperture light, you know, sitting over there that you haven't used. I already had the app and all that kind of stuff. And I figured out how to change the color finally by watching YouTube videos. And I put it back there. Now, what I did was I took two little clamps from that were left over from mounting the air conditioner. And I screwed those in through the pads into the wall just just to get they're They're basically like little little angle brackets that are used to, you know, to screw the air conditioner into the window sill and all that stuff. But I don't need that for the air conditioner. So they just put them into a Ziploc bag and chucked them because you never know when you might need something as luck would have it. I thought those would work perfect. So, you know, I'll slide out of the way here. But basically, I have one on this side and one on this side and it's in there just enough and stucks out just enough that the aperture light sits perfectly on it, you know, back against the wall. And, and I think it looks perfect, you know, like that, that blue really pops. It's weird because my monitor reverses stuff. Like this, this little bit of black here, I think it isn't, like the blue doesn't go out as much because of the newer light. You know, it's a lot brighter than this little, little bulb here. I think it looks great. I've got separation now between me and the wall. You can still see the clock. I've got some sound absorption. We'll see how it is, and, and by tomorrow, I'll probably change something again. Update on the lenses. That box was packed yesterday, ready to go, and I took it to FedEx today. So off to KEH, the lenses go. Hopefully, they don't try to short stick me on the prices and all that kind of stuff. And again, I, I have committed myself to getting the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master. The other thing that I really wanted to talk about today was a little bit more health related. I'm gonna go two weeks here and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm talking about. And the title of the video is to throw your scales away. Taking your weight, it's not the way to measure yourself as a person. Now, I will tell you this, a lot of this, you know, like I've told you before, I don't like to weigh myself. As, as a means of identifying if I'm, you know, bettering myself because weight isn't really a good way to gauge your performance. It's just to tell you how much you weigh and how much you weigh really doesn't tell the story. For instance, I've said this before, if you start pumping iron and you put on, let's just say 20 pounds of muscle, you're going to look a hell of a lot different than if you put on 20 pounds of fat, right? I mean, you can't argue with that logic. It's obvious. You've gained the same amount of weight, but one of those weights is, is a ripping muscular physique and the other way is just fat and lardy. That's not the good way to gain weight. Now, same thing can happen. Think about when you get sick or if you've ever had a cast or something like that and you, you know, you're gonna atrophy, you're gonna lose a lot of weight, but do you look better? No, you look like hell. You look haggard because you, you, you know, you lost weight in a bad way. You didn't just lose fat. You lost muscle, you know, bone density, all that kind of stuff. And you, you don't look good. More importantly though, is how you feel. I'll date myself Saturday Night Live. Billy Crystal played the character Fernando. And one of his catchphrases was, it's better to look good than to feel good. I've never held that opinion. I think it's better to feel good than to look good. Because I think if you feel good, you'll look good. And if you don't look good, you feel good. So who gives a shit what people think you look like, all right? Now, we all know my struggles with, with you know, my ghoulish appearance that I've been going through lately. The big thing is, is that the problem wasn't that I didn't look good to myself, it's that I didn't feel good. And that showed in how I looked. I 
would rather feel good. I mean, I've been in pain for 20 plus years now. When my back hurts or when I've got a freaking ripping headache, spine ache, whatever, or my back goes out and I can't move, do you honestly think I give a rat's ass what I look like? Hell no, I'd rather feel good any day of the week and twice on Sundays. That's my point, is that it's better to feel good. Over the last two weeks, that first week, I killed it walking. I walked twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Remember that my step count minimum is 7,500 steps a day. So I well surpassed that every single day. When I was doing that, that week, I didn't lose any weight. And we're talking at the beginning of this heat wave. So for that one week, I was breaking records and I was literally walking a shit ton twice a day, still watching my diet and everything, blah, 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 didn't have dessert. And what did I do? Nothing. I stayed the exact same weight, 180 pounds. Now last week, because of the heat wave and all the other shit I had to do, I didn't walk any single day. I got like 6,600 steps was the, was the most I got and that was Saturday. And that's because I was out running around doing errands. My low day, Thursday, 3,590 steps. I didn't even come close to hitting my, my minimum step goal. I got a dessert. So we had cherry pie two nights in a row. And then every other night after that, we got new ice creams from Prosperity. So we had baklava ice cream. <laughs> Dude, oh my God, Francine, that baklava. We got lemon sorbet. There was like a, a lemon and thyme sorbet. Something like that. So we're totally addicted to, to their ice creams and sorbets. And, and we literally were polishing them off in, in like two days. So I had dessert every night. I didn't walk. You know, I mean, I guess I ate semi-normal-ish. And I lost 0.2 pounds. Okay. So look at the difference. The difference was is that I walked my ass off, so I thought, and watched my diet and maintained weight, didn't lose any, didn't gain any. And then the next week I didn't walk and I ate dessert every night and I lost 0.2 pounds. What the hell? Okay, how confusing is that? My point though, tying it all together, is that that first week when I was walking, I felt fantastic. I was excited to get up in the morning, get dressed, go out, walk that two, two and a half, almost three miles every day, going out, seeing all the other people walking, good morning, you know, seeing all the, you know, the wildlife and everything and just starting my day off right, drinking a shit ton of water, then I'd come home, shower, make a healthy breakfast, go into my work day, you know, blah, 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 everything was peachy, and then having dinner and going for another walk to wind my day down, then hanging out on the couch with my wife, just a great time, I felt good, I slept, I felt like I slept well. I haven't been having serious, serious spine aches and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't gain any weight, but I felt good, okay? Then last week, I didn't do shit. I ate dessert. I laid down you know, on the couch and, and watched TV and I felt like shit. I felt lethargic. I wasn't like motivated to do anything. Now, granted, a lot of that was to do with the fact that we were in a brutal heat wave. So yes, I put in an air conditioner. Yes, I was up and down the stairs a thousand times. Yes, I was climbing ladders and all that kind of shit. But I, that to me is like your day to day. You're gonna do that shit anyways. Well, I'm not gonna hang an air conditioner every day, but you get the point. I wasn't actively exercising and moving. I was just doing what I do and that's not enough. And I felt like crap. Yes, I had dessert. It was delicious every night. No, I didn't walk. I didn't gain any weight, but I felt horrible. That's the gauge. That's why I want you to throw away your scales and stop weighing yourself. Yes, I struggle with weight. Yes, I struggle with my melon and, and how I perceive myself and so on and so forth. But hands down, throughout my entire life, the only time that I really feel good is when I'm exercising. And that's why I was a hardcore swimmer in, in high school. That's why I gravitated towards being a roofer because it's incredibly physical when I was in college. It's why I went and became a deep sea diver for the Navy. Jesus, you don't get much more physical than that. You know, I mean, that was my job to be in superhuman condition. And I loved it. I loved doing all that stuff. My fun was going for six mile runs, going for 13 mile runs, it, riding my bike 50 miles a day swimming for several miles a day, sometimes all that in the same day, because I loved it and I felt great, okay? I felt fantastic. And it was because I was doing that. It wasn't because of how much I weighed. 
it, it wasn't because of what I ate. Well, I mean, it was because of what I ate. But, you know, like I wasn't, I wasn't sacrificing eating anything. I ate what I wanted to eat, but I was burning it off because I was doing so much activity. That's what I've been trying to get to here is that, okay, yeah, it, you know, it, with the heat index, it's 110 degrees out. Yeah, I'm not in that kind of condition that I can go out and play in that like I used to. All this is being said to tell you, weighing yourself is a horrible way to judge your progress. Don't do it. Yes, I do it because I'm trying to see, you know, I'm trying to get sort of like a baseline and all that kind of stuff. But when it gets right down to it, you know, I mean, look what I said. One week I didn't do shit. I laid around, I ate dessert and all that kind of stuff. I didn't gain any weight. I lost some weight and I felt like shit. And then the other week when I was out active and all that kind of stuff, I didn't go anywhere, up or down, but I felt fantastic. That's what you gotta do. You gotta get out, you gotta move. Move, 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 move. Do yourself a favor, pick your ass up off the couch, take your scale and chuck it. You'll be happier for it without relying on that stupid number on that scale telling you that you're good or you're bad. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for joining me as always. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up without the scale.